G'day, Lurch here, welcome back. So two of the, the two main subjects I wanted to cover with the, the channel that I've created here on YouTube was both vintage computers uh, and vintage toys. So uh, my previous videos have been about the uh, Commodore, the Raspberry 64 that I built, uh, and also that ta Tandy game system. Uh, and then I promptly went on holidays for six weeks, went to Europe with my wife uh, on long service leave. Uh, However, one of the things I did want to do while I was over there was to uh, collect up some uh, action men, who are, is one of my big big things I love. Uh, and um, obviously uh, Britain being the home of action man, uh, I was able to pick up a few things. So this is uh, the first part of uh, uh, my toy haul, I guess you could call it. I might do two or three videos on this. Uh, and this is just a selection of some of the guys that I picked up. Uh, first up, we have uh, the Aussie Jungle Fighter, uh, which obviously I had to get because he's the only Aussie in the in the um, in the collection. Next, we have the French Foreign Legion, uh, then the Turbo Copter and Pilot, and finally uh, a very nice Sailor. Now they all required a little bit of work, um, which I'll get to as we go through them all. So let's start with the Aussie Jungle Fighter. This guy here is the Australian Jungle Fighter, uh, our little homegrown hero over here in Australia. Uh, now, when I got him, uh, what you see is uh, essentially what I what I got. The uniform was in pristine condition. I was really, really happy with that, uh, and I already had uh, the flamethrower and the and the tanks. Uh, and a couple of spare grenades. Uh, he came with the boots and, of course, the uh, the slouch hat. And I was really happy with the condition he was in. Uh, the only things I had to fix was the flamethrower nozzle was actually broken just here, so I had to glue that back together. Uh, I already had that. That didn't come with the one I bought. Uh, and also his machete was uh, snapped in two, so I had to carefully super glue that back together. Uh, and it's all in one piece, but even though it kind of lives in its sheath most of the time. The only other thing I, I did was uh, I had to make some new socks because they were missing. Now I'm not honestly I'm not that happy with the one how they turned out uh, and I've actually ordered some others. And the only other thing really missing uh, is uh, his little dagger uh, which I've also got coming. Uh, but all in all I really like this guy and uh, I'd have to say he's probably he's probably one of my favorites mainly because he's an Aussie but uh, no I'm really I'm really happy with this guy. Next is the Sailor. Now, when I got this guy, um, now you got to remember for all of these, I, I pretty much bought the uniform and already had the figures. Um, uh, actually, this guy, actually all of these four I bought from the uh, Vintage Action Man Collectors Group on Facebook. I'll, uh, I'll put a link down in the description. Um, now, with this one, essentially the uniform, the blue part of the uniform was just dirty. It needed a thorough wash uh, and an iron. Uh, I always try and iron the little creases in the pants and stuff like that. Um, the ribbon on the hat was, uh, it was there, but there really wasn't much left of it, so I got rid of that. Uh, and the white hat was essentially brown. The hat I'd simply cleaned with uh, those magic eraser sponge things, and it came up nice and white. Um, just as a temporary measure, I made up a new ribbon. That's just printed on some uh, some photo paper with some double-sided sticky tape. Uh, and just for the hell of it, I put in uh, HMAS Albatross, which is actually the Australian Navy base that I grew up next to. Uh, it's uh, just outside of Nara on the New South Wales south coast. So uh, I made up a little HMAS Albatross ribbon for his hat. The only other thing I really had to do with this was, now I'm not actually 100% sure if the original figure came with it, but... Uh, the figure, in theory, should actually have this white rope. Now, I couldn't really find any string or cotton that was really the right scale that suited the, the size and all the rest of it. So what this actually is, and it's, I'm seriously talking about an hour to do, this is actually uh, three strands of cotton carefully plaited together to the right length uh, and then fed through and made into his little white rope. Uh, and I'm actually... I'm actually pretty happy with the way that turned out. Uh, and the rest of the uniform, after a good soak in nappy sand, uh, ended up turning out pretty well. Um, and, uh, yeah, I think he looks pretty good. Um, his uh, ribbon's starting to come off already. Uh, made the little bow for the side. Um, but, yeah, uh, I still haven't gotten the... Um, 
the collar to sit right, but according to a few people I've spoken to, that's not exactly a hard... Uh, it, it's pretty difficult to actually get to sit right, but I'll play around with it again. Um, but, yeah, so that is my Sailor. Next is the Turbocopter uh, and Pilot. Uh, these were two separate purchases. Um, the Turbo, both of them need a little bit of work. Uh, the Turbocopter needed new straps, which are just simply made out of elastic, uh, and the loops all hand sewn in. I'm not a big fan of having to hand sew elastic, it's a bit fiddly, um, but they're all now sewn into place if I carefully move his arm out of the way, so that's all sewn in there. Um, and other than that, the actual uh, copter was in pretty good nick, uh, and it all still still works and everything. Uh, these are uh, pretty reliable. Uh, you don't see these break too often. Uh, the actual um, blades do break. I actually have a, a broken one here. Uh, I've got the bit for it. I may fix it, uh, but I've got that one, so it's not a huge deal. The actual figure and uniform, uh, the uniform had its usual little tears and so forth. I mean, these things are 30, 40 years old now. Um, uh, so it was, all in all, it was in pretty good nick. Some of the little bits still need sewing up. Uh, the main work for the figure actually was in the helmet. Um, so uh, let me pull the helmet off and I'll show you what I did there. So this is the helmet. Um, it, when I got it, was uh, it was pretty much complete except for the visor. It had no visor, uh, and it was in pretty good nick. I had the visor bit, the actual green bit, on a, another helmet in my uh, parts bin, uh, but it was actually someone had taken it because obviously they'd snapped the uh, strap, and someone had actually glued it to the front here, um, and it was just, it was a mess. It was not very well done, and there was bits of glue everywhere, and it was a bit, a bit average. Um, so what I did is I carefully removed it from the other helmet. Uh, if you actually look close, you can see you still may still see remnants of bits of glue and stuff in there. Um, and uh, there was a crack in it as well. Uh, so I managed to remove it and clean it up as best I could, but then I needed to make a strap, and I realised that the width of the strap, and that's the width that it should be, uh, is the exact same width as some zip ties I had. So uh, I cut the zip tie to, to, to length and very carefully drilled some uh, little holes in the side here. Um, and this is actually about my fourth go at the strap because every time I tried to drill it, even with a centre punch and a pilot hole and all the rest of it, I still managed to kind of drill and split it aside, but I eventually got it. Uh, and then it's just uh, some small screws, um, some tiny little self-tapper screws that went in there. They still need to be um, painted black. Uh, and then simply glued this on the front. Now, if you've ever mucked around with super glue, you'll know that it kind of leaves that white, dusty, kind of uh, effect around the glue and especially when you're dealing with perspex it does look a bit ugly so this is just a little bit of insulation tape it actually needs gluing back down a bit it was sitting flat just to kind of cover that up and knead it up and so that's how I put back together um, the turbo copter uh, helmet and it actually doesn't look too bad if you kind of display it up like that you can't even tell that the lens is still a bit average. Uh, but yeah, I'm pretty happy with how that turned out. And lastly, my French Foreign Legion. Uh, I've got most of this guy. I'm still missing his uh, rifle, um, but I bought the uniform as a set uh, uh, off Facebook. Uh, I was Of all the uniforms I, I, I bought over the last couple of months, this is probably the most disappointing one. All the undergarments, so he's actually got a white shirt underneath and the white pants and the hat and everything, were actually really good condition and bright white. I mean, I still gave him a wash and an iron, but uh, they were in great nick. But the um, the the coat uh, was a bit on the average side. I think I actually threw it out. I don't have it anymore to show you. Um, but it was... Now, I know that there's two variations of this. There's this dark one and there's a lighter one, but the coat I had was actually the dark one faded so badly it looked like the light one. Uh, and then so, and it was also filthy dirty. So I put it in just to simply soak uh, in some nappy sand like I do with most of the stuff. Um, and uh, literally all the seams fell apart. I pulled it out, 
uh, hung it up to dry, just drip dry in the in the um, shade, and all the ed not the seams that like hold the you know hold the back together or anything like that, but all the edging seams, so all the ones that run down here, down here, all the way around, round the collar, all that kind of stuff, completely disintegrated. Um, and I started trying to uh, sew them back up with a simple blanket stitch the whole way around and. It just, it looked terrible. Uh, and I was so disappointed because I was so looking forward to getting this guy uh, up and displayed uh, in my room here at home. Uh, and uh, yeah, and the, the coat was just trash. Luckily, uh, a local, uh, local uh, action man collector, Bill, who's a mate of mine, had a spare one of these. So I only picked this up a couple of days ago uh, and I was able to finally put together my... Uh, French Foreign Legion, and I think he's a really good guy. I think a really good-looking uh, figure. Uh, I love the the hat with the the bit at the back. Uh, he's got all his webbing. He's got his uh, little sword uh, and his uh, pouches and so forth. So, like I said, all I'm really missing now is his uh, rifle and bayonet, and I hope to pick that up soon. Uh, and yeah, that is the French Foreign Legion, and he goes really well with the rest of my guys. I like it. And that's uh, the first lot of uh, action men that I picked up while I was overseas. I picked up a bunch of other stuff, uh, which I'll uh, maybe do, uh, which I'll do in uh, other videos. Uh, and if you want to see more, please comment down below and give it a like and so forth. Uh, and uh, thanks for watching.